Okay, so I'm not a shotgun person, but after trying this build, I could not get away from the shotgun. I've never tried it. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. But after this build, um, you guys are going to love this damage burst. Okay, uh, this is going to be called the Corrosion build. This is Iron Ore. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, the shotgun build, the corrosion shotgun. So you're gonna need the ACS-12 corrosion. Um, the attributes for that gun does crit rate of plus 8%, the weak spot damage plus 15%, and the crit damage 27%. What you're gonna need for that one, you're gonna need the uh, calibration attribute is gonna be the rapid shot with a fire rate of plus 25%, the draw speed plus 50%, and the attack's gonna be a minus 10%. The one I have has the ele elemental damage of plus 7.5%, and the crit rate damage plus 9.3%. The weapon attribute, okay? Very important here. 70% chance to, tr to trigger power surge with a hit, but will not affect power surge status. Power surge can deal critical damage Power surge critical damage is plus 15%. When the power surge is triggered, power surge critical damage is plus 15% for 6 seconds. The effect can stack up to 10 times. And also the power surge damage factor is plus 15%. And for the mods on this gun, the one that I'm using is going to be the shock rampage. Yeah, you got a couple options for this one. The first option is um, that mod, which will dealing power surge damage grant 5% power surge trigger chance based on the weapon trigger chances four or five seconds the effect can stack up to four times so that's the one i'm using your other option that you could be using for that one would be the uh, static shock the static shocks so power surge status duration is minus 50 percent and the power surge is plus 20 percent damage so that one's pretty good don't forget to try to get the attribute effects on the mods um what you need is elemental damage the crit rate and you want more ammo as, as much as you can okay okay with that being said we're gonna head down to the mask so for the mask what i'm using is going to be the key factor here for your build it's going to be the gas mask hood uh and that one there is pretty self uh, explanatory after triggering the power surge critical rate is plus 35 percent for three seconds okay the power mod i use on this one is going to be the deviation expert talent uh, the range is minus 25%, fire rate is plus 10%, status damage is going to be plus 20%, 20% and uh, the attribute effect I have on this one is going to be the elemental damage, maximum HP, uh, damage against elite, and status damage. Okay, moving on to your gear set. Um, what are we going to be running today? It's going to be a four-piece long wolf, and we're going to be running a one-piece Bastille boots. So for the four-piece long wolf, I will. I got the mask, I got the gloves, I got the pants and I got the jacket. So the four piece get magazine capacity plus 10%, crit rate 5%. You, um, you get a one stack of long wolf with every two weapon critical hits. So long wolf critical damage plus 6% for 30 seconds. The, FN, the effect can stack up to eight times. And when you got four of them, increase the damage of long wolf stack up to 10 instead of eight. Critical rate is plus 8% instead of six for two seconds after reloading and then we have like i said i have the mask uh, the gloves jacket and pants and on to the boots for the bastal boots um that one's very important so make sure your hp is above 70 percent and your weapon damage will do an extra 10 percent of damage so moving on to the back to the mask for the long wolf the mods that i'm using for this one is going to be the first electro electrocution talent sorry about that um, for the enemy without power surge status, power surge ultimate damage is plus 30%. For the attribute effects, it will depend on what you guys can get. Remember, try to get elemental damage first. Try to get more ammo. Um, and then we have our jackets. For the jacket, what I'm running right now is going to be the rejuvenating violent so when your hp is above 60 percent the kill recovers 50 percent loss on your hp so that's gonna also gonna help on your um uh, bestial boot when you're at 70 percent um that one i'm also the the attribute effects gonna be different for that one i got the max hp don't forget if you can get magazine capacity that's gonna help also down to your pants what i'm rocking is going to be the dead shot violent armor mod for the pants so that one each critical hits by non melee weapons gets plus 5% critical damage up to 45%. The effect is removed upon the next reload. And this is why right here, you need to have uh, magazine capacity 
as high as you can also because that effect will stack up to 45 you'll be able to max out on every magazine okay so keep that in mind down to your gloves for the gloves i am using the status enhance enhancement and the status effects on this one is a plus 20 percent damage again attribute effect will depends on what you guys have i don't have that one maxed out yet but i'm working on that one and for the pastel boots the best one and there's i don't think there's any other ones beside that one for your um for your boots and that's going to be the uh covered advance so taking no damage within four seconds again it grants 20 percent melee weapon damage and status damage for 30 seconds um some of these mods you're going to be able to play with i think the gloves you can go from um from the status enhancement to your elemental overload that will do also pretty good because your elemental overload for your gloves will do elemental damage of plus 18 percent so depending what you have for your attribute effects you that might be a little bit more powerful than um the status enhancement okay so there's that for the gloves and i do believe that there was also for your uh, pants um i am using that shot but you could also use um status amplifier so depending again on what you have for your attribute effects that might come on top but for now i think that shot is way above um way better than than others and um moving on to your secondary wear weapons uh so for my second weapon you could use the wildfire with the wildfire for the mods you are going to have to uh use a uh, vulnerability the bullseye as vulnerability plus eight percent that's the mod i'm using on that one and for your melee weapon uh, i am using the stun baton uh so the light strike and impacts have 80 percent chance to inflict power surge heavy strikes on target with power surge status and inflicts an additional instant of shock status damage equal to 100% of the PSI intensity on enemy. So that's the one I'm using right now. Some people talk about the axe and um, the long the long axe. I have never tried it. Um, I'm using the stun baton and that's the, um, that's the one I'm, and for the mods on that one, I am using shock rampage also. Shock rampage uh, deal power surge damage, grant 5% power surge triggered chances based on the weapon trigger chances for five seconds. The effect can stack up to four chances, uh, four times, sorry again attributes will depend on that one okay so for the cradle um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a picture of the icons that i have on here uh, i'm going to go over it real quick for you guys so those are the icons i have for my cradle so the first one is going to be handgun enhancement i'm not going to read all of them for you guys so you guys just can pause the video copy that and go with it and i got anti-void shotgun deviation master Status enhancement, tactical combo. I'm using uh, transient impact, first round blast, and the long walker. So, pause the video, copy those, and give those a try. And now for your food, we're gonna have a couple options for the food. Um, the one I like to use the most is gonna be the um, Whispical drink. Sorry, I can't say that properly. That one, the status enhancement is 1800 seconds used to gain 25 percent status damage so if you guys can make that one that one's a strictly dps really 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 good um the other one that i'm also using is going to be the canned lunch meat so the canned lunch meat that one will use to increase the character's hp by 10 percent. so that's going to be survivability that's going to be really good and the other one also i am using is the assorted canned fruit and that one is used to increase the weak spot damage by 25% when the sanity is above 80%. So that depends on how you are taking your sanity pills and um, how you're keeping your health. But the main two that I'm using is the um, Whispers Cold Drink and the Canned Lunch Meat. Now moving on to your Divian. The Divian, you got a couple options. If you want to go straight DPS for your Divian, I would go uh, the Long Wolf Whisper. Uh, that one is going to be really strong for your DPS. Uh, the attack is pretty good. If you want more um, more health and more of a, being a, like, not a tank build, but just a little bit more securement, I would go with your uh, Fast Swing Gel. Now, there is a Shiny Gel out there that can help you a lot more. Same thing with your uh, Butterfly. You can use the Butterfly that can help you all a lot um, on your DPS. But I'm using right now the Fast Swing Gel just in case I get a... Uh, a, a lot of a lot of um 
a lot of DPS coming my way because your shotgun is going to be a close range. So when you got close range, you got a lot of enemy near you and they're most likely to hit you before you hit somebody else that's further back behind you. So you're going to need that gel as a, uh, as a backup. Okay. Okay, so to finish off the build, a lot of things uh, people are not talking about is the ammo. So always go with the tungsten AP um, ammo if you do have a lot of tungsten. Um, if you don't, you could go down just to the regular tungsten ammo. And then I usually, you know, you do go down down the tier. So then you get uh, the AP steel bullets ammo you could use. But the one I'm using is just the regular steel. Uh, the For the difference for the percentage i don't see a, a bunch of a difference especially with the resources you're using so um just keep it with the still ammo you'll be just fine um there's no way there's no point of wasting your resources over the ammo um so that's gonna be all for the build i hope you guys enjoy it uh please give it a try leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about it. if i forgot anything um don't be shy let me know if you got any more suggestions about the mods also let me know thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that like and hit that bell also until next time this is iron ore